Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and the Divi Teacher. Today I'm going to show you the new feature update from Elegant Themes. This is version 4.5 of Divi and it brings with it an upgrade to the global defaults and they're calling this presets or global presets, something like that. I'm gonna just walk through it and kind of explore it. It's kind of gonna be, you know, kind of my normal um, slow pace, you know, there's no upbeat music or anything like that. Just kind of taking a look at what it can do and a couple of the features, maybe a couple quirks and ways around them and things like that. All right, let's get started and take a look at this update with the presets. All right, so here we go. I have a layout, a pre-made layout from Divi installed here on a demo website. And I'm going to try to explain how these presets work and show you some of the quirks and uh, hopefully it'll make sense to you. And well, it doesn't all make sense to me, but hopefully the part that doesn't make sense will make sense to you. Um, anyway, so right now, this is just how they've styled it. So obviously these modules, you know, whatever modules are on this page have been styled full width header setting. Um, it's not default. All right. So I'm saying that for a reason. Obviously, this is not like when you add a text module, it's not styled this way. I'll get back to that. But basically, these new settings are replacing or upgrading, whatever you want to call it, the global defaults. So you used to be able to right click on anything and there'd be like set as default or, you know, make style default or whatever, edit default styles and all that. Okay. Well, now the new thing is edit preset or apply styles to active preset things like that because it's presets. The new feature is presets. So anytime you open any module, column, row, or section settings, you will have this new drop down underneath the title up here. Okay. So right here, it just says text default preset. And then underneath here, we can create new preset from current styles, or we can just add a new preset. So again, under any you know, basically any of the Divi elements here. So if I'm in a section, we get that and, you know, it would affect all the section styles. Um, I haven't checked actually a column, but I assume. Yeah. So if you're in a column, um, you can do that too. So, all right. So pretty much all of those areas, you can do this. So what are these presets? So, um, it's just a collection of your design settings and they are specific to the module. Right. So if I have a text module and I change the title text, the H1, for example, and then over in a blur module, I have an H1 or something, it's not going to update across the modules. And that's, that's to be expected. That's, that's good. Um, that's how the global defaults worked. Um, let's go and show you actually a good example. I'm just looking here at what module to use. A button module would actually be a good one to start out with. So, in fact, let's make sure I have more than one on the page. In fact, here, is this a mod? Yeah, I didn't know if it was a call to action, but yeah. Okay, so here's just a button module. Let's edit this, and I'll show you how it will affect the other one. Now, right now, again, like I said, this is just how they've designed it. If I would click on Modified Styles, it would bring up all of the styles here that have been added, you know, in the pre-made layout by the team at Elegant Themes, right? So, you know the black icon color, you know, everything, the font, everything like that. All right. So what I want to do is basically modify this. Now I'll show you the quirk and <laughs> I tried to talk with elegant themes about this and I don't really think I could get it across to them. Um, let's just say I have, I want to make this a default. Let's go ahead and look at the settings. Here it says create new preset from the current styles. So right now, you know, I have the font and the border and all that. So if I would make a preset, I could go apply that to other buttons. And right now, let's really modify this thing so it's obvious. So right now, I want to go into the button and let's do some stuff like the border radius. Like let's really make that like high. We'll put it like 50. Okay, now it's rounded. Okay, that's a pretty good one. How about we do something obvious here? We'll make it red and even the the button text color we'll make green. Make it really nasty. All right. 
So now if I go up here to this, I can say create new preset. So we could name it um, nasty button, right? <laughs> All right, so we, we name that and there it is. So and it flips over to this gray and basically that's the um, kind of like how it was with the default global styles there. When, when you see this gray at the top and this little icon to flip it back over, you know you're editing a preset, okay? When you see the gray, you're editing a preset. Now, if you would only see the purple, that means you're editing this individual module. All right, so now let's go up to another button right here and we'll apply that preset. All right, so, and I'm gonna show you the quirk. So if we go here, remember I <laughs> called it nasty button. So if I click that, now that doesn't really do anything. I mean, it does, but I wanna point out that the one with the star is the one that's active. So if I click that star, see what happened there? This will assign nasty button as a default button preset across your entire site. Okay, so clicking on this right here in the blue, applied it here, oh, it just unapplied it because I clicked it, interesting. Learned something new there. But anyway, it applied it, right? The red border, but it didn't make it round. And I'll show you why. But if you click the star, that's the one that's like the, the global preset, all right? But just now I applied the nasty button. Now you, but you're like, no, wait a minute. The nasty button preset down here is red rounded with green text. Mm-hmm. And this is what I've been kind of arguing with Nick and Vlad about. It doesn't make sense if I'm going in here and applying it, why doesn't it apply? The reason is because this particular module is set to different settings here, like here, the border radius is zero and I could hit this right here and then it clears out my manual settings and applies the preset. Now, to me, that makes zero sense. Like that doesn't make sense at all. Um, and that's what I've been discussing with them. I was like, this, I don't get it. Everyone's gonna be confused. So one of the things that I, I their point is that, well, why would you want it to override? You, you can still have manual control over each element. And I, I totally get that. My point is that when you're assigning a button, um, it should do what you think, like clicking on that should assign it. Now I just unassigned it, but signing it like that should do that. Now, here's the trick that we can do to overcome that. We can clear out all of those things. If I right click on here or click the three dots, um, and now I'm running out of space here on my page. Okay, so we could reset module styles, click that, reset module styles. Did it do it? No, it didn't. Let's try it again. Reset module styles. There we go. So now it's back to normal. And because I reset the styles, the preset took over. So well, there you go. That's the workaround unless they would fix that. But there you go. That's the, that works. And now you can have, you know, you could go through and Like I said, if the star, if I was clicking this star, we get this pop up. You know, and that's that's kind of what we already did. It's, you know, kind of a stern warning because you're gonna apply that to any button. Now it will not apply it if I have, like in here, this button here is inside of a module. So for that to happen, I would have to come in and, um, well, there's just no way to do it. I mean, I could come in here to the button settings, button one and button two, um, but you know, there's really no way to get my button module into here. That's what I was saying earlier about how each module is separate. So I'm not sure if they have any solutions for that. Maybe I can reset it here. Let's see. No, it just goes back to the normal three pixel border radius. So hopefully that they add something to improve that. All right, let's do something else. So this divider line, that's a good one, right? Nice and simple. So let's say, we want, let's make a bunch of them. Let's add a new preset. We want to call this um, divider. Actually, let's call it like um, green divider. All right. A weird thing is when I just said new, like under here, I said to add new preset. 
So here we can go and we're just making a preset. What did I say, green or something? We're just making a preset. We're not editing the current one. And that's what's a little bit odd, um, but it, it kind of makes sense. So if I go here and add a divider, I mean, just, you know, add a module and say, I want to add a divider. All right, and then I could come in here or to the preset and say, I want the green divider and it's just green. Um, now, if I wanted to make a preset based on the settings here, then I would use this other one, create new preset from current styles. So here we'll say red divider, right? And then um, the gray, you know, global default settings come up for that red one. And I could even come in here and let's say, um, well, let's make the, let's make it thicker, make it obvious. Something like that. Okay. Yes, I'm sure I want to change that and all that. Now, if I wanted to change this one to the preset, I would come up here, click red divider, and it updates. Now, what if I want to update these red dividers and I don't want them to be so thick, but I've went and put them all over my website. Here's the use case. So you would come in here, open one of the dividers up, Go down here and then on red divider you click this edit button and then it will open up that gray panel again and I could come in here to sizing and let's say I want them to be you know just thinner but maybe I want them to be wider and they update across my website so there you go that's the beauty of this um, there's also a couple of other settings in there that are new. In fact, there's one icon that's brand new. When you hover over this one right here, kind of, I'm not sure, like a, a U-turn type of arrow. Here it says update preset with current styles. And what that means is if I would go in here and I would just happen to be changing this one to blue, right? Then I could go in here and I could, I could go to this red divider, go to the U-turn and say, I want to update that to the current style. Well, the current style is this blue. So I would hit yes. And it updates everywhere across my site. And then other than that, everything in here is pretty standard. Um, here you have the preset settings. So I could assign this one to be default. Okay. Yes. Sure. Um, I don't even know which one. Did I just sign it to the gr a green one? Oh, so yeah, I assigned it to the green one. So if I go to the settings here, I could assign it to this one. Red divider, I want the red one to be default, which is blue now, but we called it red. So that's a good use case. Let's rename this. So you go to the settings. Now I say blue. Now it's a blue divider. Okay. And then the other things are pretty similar to what we're used to. Duplicate, delete, um, and then edit, of course. So there you go. That's kind of a walkthrough. You're, you're going to be using this all the time, or you should be. Um, anytime you're making a website, you should try to be consistent. Um, let's say we want all of our images on our site to have rounded corners. So let's go here to border and we add, you know, whatever, 10 pixel border rounded. Now we've just added that. We've just edited just the image, the default preset. So it's not going to affect any other image on our site unless we hit this U-turn, right? This will affect all image module modules using the default image default preset. So even if you don't make presets, you can edit these defaults. Okay, so there we go. Now let's go to look at some of my other images. There you can see one. And there you can see all the other ones down here. So all the images have my rounded corner because they're all automatically set to the default preset. So that's pretty awesome. And again, I used, just used that, um, what did I call it? The U-turn symbol to do that. So that's pretty cool. I'm happy with this. Um, if you want to, you know, literally do anything, you just have to go into one of the modules like that. And I think the confusing part with this was, like I said, the whole idea of where I'm editing something and then it doesn't apply to that one when I make it a, a global default, like I showed you with the dividers. And then maybe the other thing is how you have to 
one of the other things that was confusing is when you're in any module and you have this add new preset button, how you, you're, you're making the preset but not actually looking at it. That's confusing. And then the alternative is just to edit the default. You don't, like I said, you don't need to make any presets. You can just go here and keep the one that's there. Go ahead and, you know, make your changes. Go into the flipped around gray area. Make all your changes to things. Now, things like that you would want to change would be things like um, the text size here, for example. You'd want that always be the same. Now, obviously, you can't change the content because it would say the same thing over and over in every module. So you would have to change that in individual ones like that. So, okay, and that's a look at the new Divi feature update with the presets. Really nice feature. Um, I especially like how you can just, you know, apply them across your whole site. It, you know, it doesn't have to be just on the page. It's not like the extend styles where you had to do it kind of on the page or section. Um, but yeah, I think these presets, you know, once we really get used to doing it, you know, a daily basis going in there and um, I think it's going to become second nature and you're going to just, we're going to be like, how did we live without this? So anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and be subscribed here and check out all the other videos we have and we'll see you in the next video.